Hi everybody, Sandy here again with Orange Coast Community Church and I'm here to talk to you today about Proposition 20. Um, this was a really hard one for me personally, but um, I just want to kind of read it actually from my official ballot because the way it's worded is not very clear to me. So Proposition 20 says, restricts parole for certain offenses currently considered to be nonviolent, period. Restricts parole for certain offenses currently considered to be nonviolent. In what capacity is my question of restricting parole? Um, authorizes felony sentences for certain offenses currently treated only as misdemeanors. That one's more clear. So um, if we go on and read it, limits access to parole program established for nonviolent offenders who have completed the full term of their primary offense by eliminating eligibility for certain offenses. So um, the parole program, which we talked about in the Proposition 17 being up to three, being three years long. So I, if I read that to this, right now, uh, the way that I'm thinking about it, it's saying that it limits the program for that. So, however, if you go to your proposition um, pamphlet, if you got that in the mail, which I did not, um, and another friend of mine did not also receive it, um, you can go online and download the California Voter Guide and then get some more in-depth information. So let's overview that right now. Um, I went on the computer, downloaded it. Here are the four major provisions for this proposition. Number one, it changes state law to increase criminal penalties for some theft-related crimes. As I read um, into it, so for certain crimes like shoplifting, let's say, but now I believe it might be shoplifting between $250 to $950, and you're a repeat offender, some of those crimes could be categorized as a felon crime, which seems like it's not fair. However, on the other side of that, there are some crimes right now in the state of California that are um, considered right now nonviolent and should probably be violent. Um, that is in my own opinion, but um, that would be child sex trafficking, for instance. Right now in California, it is not considered a violent offense, which is outrageous. Um, and so I could see how Prop 20 could now categorize that um, as a violent offense, which absolutely it should be. So that is, from the Christian um, point of view on that, I could see how that would, how that would work. Um, other than that, I really didn't see any other real big change. So I'm not sure really what this Prop 20 is about. We uh, looked it up as to who is for it and, um, and who is against it. So, uh, and, and just to let you know, you know, I don't know, of course, you vote however you want. Um, the official Republican position for this particular, when I called the headquarters, was a yes vote on Proposition 20. Um, but I, I did have a real problem with it because of the minor, um, you know, lesser offenses now being able to be categorized as, as a felon, like shoplifting. So, um, and the people who are behind it is the groceries, uh, you know, community. They definitely um, want this. And uh, the people who are against it are our governor, uh, Gavin Newsom. So just some things to throw out there and for you to think about because those things are not easily, um, you know, you can't see it very easy. You'd have to really do some research on this one. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. Um, a yes vote. So you can see a yes vote on this. What would that look like? Um, it means people who commit certain theft related crimes, such as repeat shoplifting could receive increased penalties, such as longer jail terms. Um, additional factors will be considered for the state's process for releasing certain inmates from prison early. 
Law enforcement would be required to collect DNA samples from adults. Oh, that's the other thing, you guys. So law enforcement now would be required to collect DNA samples, yes, from even shoplifters. Um, but also not on the other side of that, you have people who commit check forging, check forgeries, and um, there was some other more, a little bit more serious that, that, that you would want them to collect DNA samples. But also think about that, but then they're also connect, collecting DNA samples. So um, for, for really, you know, smaller things. Um, so if you, you are okay with that, then, you know, that's, that's what that would mean. Uh, no vote means penalties for people who commit certain theft-related crimes would not be increased. There would be no change to the state's process for releasing certain inmates from prison early. Law enforcement would continue to be required to collect DNA samples from adults only if they're arrested for a felony or required, um, you know, there are, there are other offenders and, and arsonists as well. So... That's a tough one, but um, just trying to bring some information there for you on it. And again, if you have any questions, um, you can email me at uh, ariseandshineoc at gmail.com. It's our Bible study um, email, but that's okay. And uh, we can talk about it, or I can send you some more information if you want. And then don't forget also you, um, for you new voters, you're not, you, if you are not sure about a certain proposition, you actually don't need to vote on that particular proposition. And um, I, cause it, there's a myth out there that, you know, that if you leave something blank like that, that your whole ballot would be thrown out. And that's just not true, but you're not, you know, you're not having to vote on every single thing if you don't want to. And I encourage you to do so, but but if you really just can't and you don't you don't know what it's about, you know, sometimes like for this, for me personally on this one, I like don't want to vote on this one. So anyway, um, okay, we'll see you on the next one.